Okay, so this behavior that we observed in our model for the election predictions, which was namely as k goes to infinity, as the amount of time steps goes off to way out infinitely in the future, that we actually approached a fixed vector. Um, we call this vector a steady state vector. So let's define this term. Let's let P denote a stochastic matrix. So this means every column in matrix P has entries that add up to one. Then a steady state vector, which we may also call an equilibrium vector for this matrix P is a probability vector, meaning the entries of vector Q must add up to one. Um, is a vector such that when we apply the transition matrix to vector Q, we get vector Q back. So in other words, matrix P does not do any transformation to this vector Q. So notice from this matrix equation that we have, we can see that since multiplying Q by P operates like multiplying Q by the scalar one, that we see that lambda equals one is indeed an eigenvalue for this matrix. And we know that P, since it's stochastic, definitely has an eigenvalue of one. And Q is one eigenvector, one possible eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda is equal to one. So in the case of the election cycle example, we found that one steady state vector was vector Q, which was a 0 0.3214, 0 0.5357, and 0 0.1429. Multiplying this vector Q by the transition matrix P gave us back the same vector Q. So this vector is an eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda equals one, and we can interpret this steady state vector in practical terms as if our initial state was set up according to vector Q, that as time goes on, the probabilities of being in any one of these states is the same. It does not change. So this is why we can think of Q as some sort of an equilibrium for this system. So let's take a look at an example on the next slide. All right, so now let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have a transition matrix P, which is given by a two by two matrix where the first column is 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and the second column is 0 0.3, 0 0.7. Uh, and this is a transition matrix for some Markov chain. And we would like to find uh, the steady state vector for this transition matrix, which happens to be a stochastic matrix. So um, we know that Q, the steady state vector, is an eigenvector for matrix P corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals one. So really, this question, find a steady state vector for this stochastic matrix P, is equivalent to saying, find an eigenvector to this matrix P for the eigenvalue lambda equals one. So recall how we find eigenvectors for a certain eigenvalue is we can solve this matrix equation P minus lambda I, where this is the identity matrix, times some vector X gives us zero. So we want to find the null space for this matrix equation, where instead of working with P, we work with the matrix P minus lambda I. So we subtract lambda from the diagonal matrix uh, entries of matrix P. So in this case, our lambda is one. So uh, the resulting matrix P minus I, we subtract one from the first diagonal entry to get minus 0.4. We subtract one from the other entry on the main diagonal to get this negative 0.3, and the other entries are unchanged. And now we have various methods for solving this matrix equation. Um, one of which would be to take this matrix and write it in reduced row echelon form by performing row operations on it. So I have this augmented matrix where I have the coefficient matrix 
and a last column of zeros corresponding to the zero vector, which is on the right side of this equation. Uh, so doing row operations, um, you could quickly put it into this reduced row echelon form. We can see that there's a pivot in column one, so x1 is not free. There is no pivot in column two, so x2 is a free variable. Uh, and in particular, we can write out the solution space to this um, equation by any vector which is of the form x2 times the vector 0 0.751 would be an eigenvector for the eigenvalue 1. So in other words, if we pick x2 to be 4, then we get a nicer vector that doesn't have any fractions. So we see that the vector v which is equal to 3, 4, is an eigenvector for lambda equals 1. Uh, however, steady state vector, recall, has to be a probability vector. So this means we don't stop when we find an eigenvector because there's a second condition for a steady state vector q, that is that it has to be a probability vector. So after we find an eigenvector, and it doesn't matter whether it's 3, 4, or whether we were to pick 0 0.751, then we need to rescale it so that the entries add up to 1. So in this case, I have this vector v, which is 3, 4 at the moment. This adds up to 7. We want it to add up to 1, so we can divide each of those entries by 7. So now we can see that q is an eigenvector, it has this form, and Q has entries that add up to 7 over 7, so its entries add up to 1, which tells us Q is a probability vector. So this stochastic matrix P has a steady state vector Q, which is equal to 3 sevenths as the first entry, 4 sevenths as the second entry.